Hello ladies and gentlemen, Panzer here, and welcome to Death Garden. Now this is one that I've been waiting for for a long time, because it definitely looks really, really interesting, doesn't it? And this is the Hunter, this is the, the solo killer of Death Garden. And uh, this video, of course, is being split into two parts, the other part covering the runners, and that's just so I can go a little bit more in depth into how each side plays. So, just a quick outline of the game, if you've not seen this before, it's a asymmetrical multiplayer uh, arena game, and it's highly inspired by Behaviour's previous game, Dead by Daylight, uh, in the sense that you do have that sort of asymmetrical thing going on there. Um, but there are some differences, not least of which being this this lovely little sci-fi kind of aesthetic that they've got going on here. In fact, the hunter themselves actually looks like a sort of love child between Mass Effect and and Warhammer 40k. But uh, anyway, all, the, all that aside, uh, the, the way that the game is kind of played is very, very different. You go straight into the game and then you pick your loadout. And you, as you can see right here, you have a selection of different abilities and different weapons. And they'll all affect the way that you play your particular hunter. Now, it does appear that there's going to be a lot more things that will be unlocked in future, but uh, for now, I really can't say for certain what those would be, uh, but I'm really looking forward to it, of course. Uh, so the main objective of the game is, at least for the runners anyway, they have to capture two of three different objectives, King of the Hill or sort of domination style, uh, on the map, and the hunter has to prevent them from doing that. So the hunter, on the other hand, has to kill at least three of the remaining runners so while they have a team of five only three of them need to be completely killed and how that happens is every single time you knock down a runner uh, that adds a point onto what's known as the blood post and you have to do this three times for that to be activated and then you can actually send one of the downed runners to that blood post so that you can execute them and you have to do that process three times so it's definitely imperative that the hunter moves very very quickly thankfully the map size is quite small it is randomly generated to a certain degree so map items objectives and so on will be roughly in different places there'll be a uh, you know different terrain to different terrain heights and obstacles and and so on to to contend with but overall, compared to things like Dead by Daylight and even most multiplayer games, the map is quite small and quite constrained. Um, and that makes the movement of the game all the more important. The runners definitely move very, very fast, but I'll talk about that in their video, which is coming soon. The hunter, on the other hand, while they look heavy and bulky, can actually move quite fast, especially when they're using their sort of supercharge ability, which drains stamina, but gives them sort of a two times boost to their speed, uh, to their running speed and their jumping height as well. So it can give you that sort of quick burst of movement. But movement overall feels quite floaty. It's it's more along the lines of something like Halo, where you have sort of low gravity and you can jump quite high. Um, but there's also sort of vaulting and and stuff that you would see in modern games like Battlefield and so on. But of course, compared to things like Battlefield, you're definitely not as planted or stuck to the ground as you uh, as you would be in those games. Gunplay overall doesn't feel, as, as somebody who plays a lot of uh, FPS's gunplay in the game is quite important to me and then this, at the moment, I realise this is quite basic because it's an alpha as you can see by the watermark that's bouncing around the screen. Um, the gunplay right now is quite basic, there's a little bit of recoil and spread mechanics, very very simple sort of stuff but uh, nothing to really write home about. And in fact, the guns themselves aren't the most satisfying to use, with the exception of the shotgun, which definitely has quite a bit of a kick to it, which is quite satisfying when you land a hit. But overall, at the moment, uh, they're quite basic. The main weapons that you have right now are the sniper rifle, assault rifle, and shotgun, with, of course, shotgun being the pretty powerful close range option. And then, of course, as you might expect, the sniper rifle is the long range one with the uh, assault rifle sort of being in the middle of those two. But aside from the weapons, you have the uh, you have secondary items and you have abilities. So I mentioned the supercharge earlier as well. You also have a melee ability, which instead of being just a normal punch, it's sort of an area of effect. Like you get a sort of circle around the actual hunter where they sort of p pulse out an electric charge and that can briefly stun any uh, runners that are around them. It stops them from moving completely 
and uh, stops them from doing anything for a couple of seconds, allowing you to get some good hits in. So, of course, pairing that with a shotgun is a pretty powerful combo indeed. Uh, aside from that, you also have some consumable items. You've got a, a sort of sentry turret. You've got two of those that you can place at any time, and they can be destroyed. But they're quite strong, so they can, on their own, actually knock down a few of these runners. They're also very good at spotting them, so while the runners can hide from the hunter by, you know, ducking behind trees, hiding in the tall grass and so on, these sentry turrets can see straight through that and will target and, and fire upon any runners that they can see. The other one that you can get right now is a, a pack of mines that you can put down. You've got 10 in total. You can place them around the map, and they're quite useful for covering certain objectives. They're kind of difficult to see, especially if you hide them in the grass, and they can definitely be used to catch out uh, runners quite well. The only thing is, of course, if they are quite situational, so it depends on the sort of team that you're going up against, whether or not that will be quite useful to you. And um, like Dead by Daylight as well, you don't really know what the runners are bringing in, so you don't really know if that's going to be 100% effective or not. But of course the comparisons with Dead by Daylight are always going to be made, that was the studio's previous game, and there are a lot of similarities to that. The fact that the hunters and runners don't know what the other person is carrying in their loadout, for example. Uh, you can't really counter pick, you can't really pick your abilities to counter another thing. There is also something that I've forgotten to mention, was a in-game progression system that happens. So throughout the course of a match you can actually pick up upgrades as a hunter to upgrade your weapons. The runners can do something similar to upgrade their abilities, but that will be covered more in depth in the next video. But as for the future of Death Garden, right now I don't really know exactly how they're going to be pricing it. If it follows the footsteps of Dead by Daylight, we could be seeing a upfront payment and then DLC later on. Although I don't really see this game having character DLC like uh, Dead by Daylight did. I can probably see it having some cosmetics. There's definitely a lot of room for cosmetic options and so on. But uh, right now, it's really hard to say exactly where that's going to go. Right now, the, the game is quite good, though. Uh, there are a couple of things that I would like to see improved for the next alpha. Um, definitely, this is sort of low priority, but sound design could be improved. Some of the guns, like the especially the sniper rifle, doesn't sound particularly great. It's not very satisfying to use. But um, speaking of the sniper rifle as well, the scope speed, while it's quick to scope in, is very, very sluggish to move. I found myself dragging the mouse constantly just to get it moving. And when you're targeting something that moves as quickly as most of these runners do, it can be a chore to use. And uh, sometimes, especially against really evasive runners, it's not something that's even usable at all. So I understand why they've reduced the sensitivity of the sniper scope, but I think maybe it's done a bit too much. It's a bit too slow now. So hopefully they can improve upon that uh, for the next alpha. Uh, currently, though, the game runs very, very well. It's one of the many positives that I can definitely give is that the game performance is actually really good. And that's probably down to how small the maps are and how little there is to actually load. It's a very streamlined game in that sense. But definitely, even though I was warned about the game performance when I received code for this, I haven't found too many issues with the performance. It rarely dropped below 60 on my machine, and this isn't even a top-end machine that I'm running it on. But it do rarely dropped below 60, and even if it did, it didn't stay there for very long. So there's not much in the way of stuttering except for, you know, when it's loading new things in or generating the map. There really isn't much to worry about in that sense. Mechanically as well, the game is quite simple. As a hunter, it's a simple case of knock down the runners as quickly as possible. And it's very easy to sort of pick that up. There could maybe be a bit more explanation as to what uh, the different things in the map can be, can you know, what you can interact with, what does what. There could be a bit more explanation to that. Probably going to be seeing that in the next alpha, so it's not really too much of an issue right now. It is quite an easy game to pick up and play. Uh, and I can definitely see the skill ceiling of this going very, very high. I've watched a few streams of this game as well, and the movement that people can get out of the hunters as well, uh, there's there's a lot of freedom there. So you can definitely see the skill ceiling for players is quite high uh, in that sense, and the same can be said for runners as well. So there's a decent amount of competitive potential for a game like this, and I definitely, I definitely do hope that that's the way it goes. The loadout system as it is right now, while this is purely speculation, uh, seems to be a lot more streamlined compared to Dead by Daylight. It doesn't definitely doesn't seem that it's going the route of requiring much time investment. 
to uh, unlock perks and so on for the hunter and indeed the runners as well so if it is going that way then it definitely favors a more drop in drop out sort of casual play so that would be good for casual players and more hardcore players alike because they you know have everything available at the get-go but again that's just purely speculation there may be some sort of unlockable progression system later on but that will remain to be seen Overall, though, the game is definitely shaping up to be something quite solid. It was really enjoyable to play, and the game is fast. It's very, very fast-paced. Most of the matches were between 5 and 6 minutes, the longest ones being up to 10 minutes, uh, and some of the shortest ones being 2.5 to 3 minutes even. So, against a coordinated team or against a good hunter, you're probably going to see matches end very, very fast, and uh, it definitely favours that sort of fast gameplay that uh, I was kind of hoping for. Compared to uh, Dead by Daylight, of course, Dead by Daylight has the potential to be quite long, as well as some rounds can be dragged out, um, and I don't see that happening as much with Death Garden. So, overall, definitely one to watch. I had a lot of fun with this one, and I'm keen to see what the, they do for it in the future. But uh, that's just a quick look at the Hunter gameplay of Death Garden. It's coming out soon. The uh, alpha test goes on for a few more days at this point, so keep an eye out for it. And of course, if you've got an alpha code, I hope to see you guys in there. But my name is Panzer. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.